From St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome to the celebration of this Eucharist. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from Jane Chewy and Garth Horn from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, in memory of Jane's sister, Elsie Chewy, who passed away on the 8th of August, 2009. May her soul and the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And now to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist more worthily, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord to forgive us. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us now pray. Father, you show your almighty power in your mercy and forgiveness. Continue to fill, fill us with your gifts of love. Help us to hurry toward the eternal life you promise and come to share in the joy of your kingdom. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, they make kings, but not through me. They set up princes, but without my knowledge. With their silver and gold, they make idols for their own destruction. Your calf is rejected, O Samaria. My anger burns against them. How long will they be incapable of innocence? For it is from Israel, an artisan made it. It is not God. The calf of Samaria shall be broken to pieces. For they sow the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. The standing grain has no heads it shall yield no meal. If it were to yield, foreigners would devour it. When Ephraim multiplied altars to expiate sin, they became to him altars for sinning. Though I write for him the multitude of my instructions, they are regarded as a strange thing though they offer choice sacrifices, though they eat flesh, the Lord does not accept them. Now he will remember their iniquity and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus was walking along, a demoniac who was mute was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, the one who had been mute spoke. And the crowds were amazed and said, Never has anything like this been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, By the ruler of the demons, he casts out demons. Then Jesus went around all the cities and the villages, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every kind, every disease, and every sickness. When Jesus saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you. 